But I can't get out of bed There's too much in my head Hi guys and welcome back to another vlog. So I just left the hair salon and it's six o'clock already. I went in there at one o'clock. I always forget how long my hair takes. I'm so hungry and I'm so tired. So now I'm gonna go find somewhere to eat fast. And I was supposed to go to this cool pop-up shop and then they, they close at 6 and so I don't even have time. My life would be like if we were dreaming and together we were wishing Cause now I'm living in the city and you're back home And all I'm doing is I'm singing, yes I'm singing oh, I don't feel how I used to so I actually came to pick somebody up from work But they are taking forever I'm starving and it's so cold outside. Like I'm literally sitting on a bench. I mean, at least I have this little jacket because if I didn't have the jacket, it would have been fucking freezing. I think I see him. Can you everyone? I'm still need more time. Every single year, yeah, it never fails. I try. Hey guys, so I'm finally back home and I'm so tired. I think it's only like 11 30, but now with like everything closing early, like I'm ready for bed at like 12 o'clock. I don't know if like you guys have, um, like if you have like blonde hair or if like you go through the process of like go getting your hair done, like colored, like go getting your hair done to like get it colored. It takes forever. Like I've been needing to like bring a meal to my hair appointments because like those hair appointments be like five hours but i love my color like it wasn't that bad on the roots but i think when like you're a blonde like you could see the roots coming in more like it's more defined and it was just like annoying me so Cause I think I got it back back in like July, so it was only like four months. I've been going to the same girl for like four years now. It's so pretty. Hi guys, it's a couple days after I did my hair. I have it in a ponytail right now because. Of course, New York City weather is ugly today, so there's no point in having it out. And this is like, I think already like my second or third day, so I have to wash it anyways. Yeah, I'm actually gonna go to Dover Street Market and see if they have anything nice. I went the other day and like I didn't have an idea to buy anything, but I came across these shoes and they're so cute. And they're black, so I kind of felt like I justified the purchase because I'm like, it's black and it could go with any outfit, but they are so cute. Let me show you. How cute are they? Unfortunately, they didn't have like my exact size. I had to get it like, I think these are a seven in men's, so they fit me kind of big, but I was thinking about putting like insoles in them. I, we went in and we noticed that they were selling these and then we just purchased them and left. We didn't really like look around. So I wanted to like look around to see if I 
liked any items that were in there. I'm gonna bring you guys along to see if I pick up any new purchases and just be around the city for today, so. Baby, you could keep me going Cause you've been everywhere Let me take up all the love you're showing I need it more than air And you know that I've been suffocating You could be the one to help But my issues are nauseating I don't want to bring you down I just want to be free from the free Feel love for the first time I just want to love something about me See something to open my eyes Don't want to be the only one with a house key Have something I'm proud of I wish we were living in my dreams Cause in another world you'll come with me and we So I just left the shop I wanted that bag so bad because I feel like tangles with everything so it will match with a lot of outfits but I'm kind of holding myself back because I think I'm gonna get the white one instead so still indecisive of which one I want went to dover street market i actually went to h&m no i went to h&m and then i got food and i got these pants i need to stop shopping i got these pants they're like a striped print like beige and white and then they have like a flared bottom they were on a rack for like ten dollars and it had like the price on the ticket so I'm like, I don't know if it's like the price that's on the ticket or on the rack. So then I just went to the cashier's ask and they were the price that was on the ticket, not the price that was on the rack. So that was a bummer because it would have been sweet if I got the pretend on Even though they don't even fit because they're a size zero. I don't know why I thought I could fit a size zero. Yeah, I can't fit a size zero. I don't have to return them. I swear, like, I underestimate my size every single time I go shopping. Like, I ha I hold it up and I'm like, this looks like a little fit. I'm gonna get it. And then I just keep it in my closet because it's such a hassle to, like, bring it back and return it. So I just end up keeping it. But those were, like, $40. So I think I'm gonna end the vlog there because I'm gonna jump in the shower and just be on my computer for a little bit and then head to bed. <laughs>